Of all the ironies about Diana, perhaps the greatest was this. A girl given the name of the ancient goddess of hunting was, in the end, the most hunted person of the modern age. She would want us today to pledge ourselves to protecting her beloved boys, William and Harry, from a similar fate. And I do this here, Diana, on your behalf. Diana was the very essence of compassion, of duty, of style, of beauty. All over the world, she was a symbol of selfless humanity, a standard bearer for the rights of the truly downtrodden, someone with a natural nobility who was classless and who proved in the last year that she needed no royal title to continue to generate her particular brand of magic. There is no doubt that she was looking for a new direction in her life at this time. She talked endlessly of getting away from England, mainly because of the treatment that she received at the hands of the newspapers. I don't think she ever understood why her genuinely good intentions were sneered at by the media, why there appeared to be a permanent quest on their behalf to bring her down. Above all, we give thanks for the life of a woman. I'm so proud to be able to call my sister the unique, the complex, the extraordinary and irreplaceable Diana, whose beauty, both internal and external, will never be extinguished from our minds. She affected everybody, and that's everyone's way of showing it. Laying their flowers and writing their cards and their poems. It's just amazing. Mm, it is. But she'll never Incredible. know how much she meant to everybody, really. She was just so human. She made so many mistakes, and just exactly like we do. And yet she shone through it.